welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. All right, guys. Got something new to show you today. As some of you have known, and some of you know, I have more than one YouTube channel. Uh, Technoscope is the one that I do all my tech stuff on. Look at that, I got on bit with Kyle's uh, t-shirt today. I have um, other YouTube channels other than Technoscope and one of the YouTube channels uh, is um, hashtag champs. Um, if you actually spell out hashtag champs dot TV, put that in your URL, it'll take you to the YouTube page. I recently hooked up with some guys that I know to start a uh, podcast and the podcast we stream every Sunday morning at 9.30 Central Time, and we ran into a problem, or I ran into a problem. The problem is the monitor that I was using. Uh, the monitor that I was using is a seven inch Viltrox uh, monitor. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, because this is an iPhone, it doesn't let me flip the camera to the other camera without actually stopping the video. Ugh, I don't know how you iPhone people do this. I will be showing you the monitors in a second. Uh, I just upgraded to a new one. The old one had a problem with um, the fact that we're now streaming at 4K. I've yet to see on the analytics anybody actually stream it at that, um, at that resolution, but it's, a, it's actually there to watch if you want to. Uh, that's D-A-S-P-O-R-T-Z-C-A-V-E. So I had to fix this problem where the monitor wouldn't work anymore because the, the signal coming out of my GH4 was 4K, um, which prevented the monitor from actually working. So while we're live streaming, they can't actually see, they can't actually frame themselves up without looking over to uh, Sledgehammer over there. And that's kind of a problem because the camera is usually sitting probably like right between where the where that de that drawer is and that speaker, the studio monitor right there. Uh, it's sitting like right in front of that stuff, so they're looking off to the side, trying to see my screen instead of looking at the camera and the lens like they're supposed to. Uh, so just one of those things I need to go ahead and fix because I, I wanted I want to do other podcasts and I actually want to lease out my time and space for other people and you'll see why in just a second as I flip this around so you can see my new setup that is finally complete and I'll show you the monitors as well. Now I also know that the iPhone uses directional microphones so it, it like tries to pick up what's in front of the camera and tries to block off what's behind it so I probably actually sound different although I'm still using the iPhone to record this. And the reason I'm using the iPhone to record this is because I'm going to demonstrate the camera. So here's the the monitors. This is the old one right here. This is a seven inch DC70 Viltrox DC70. These monitors, both monitors are made by Viltrox. These are cheaper monitors in the, the big scheme of things, especially for uh, 4K video. Uh, most like professional monitors and high grade stuff is in the, the multi, multi hundred dollar range. Like you're thinking like 500 to over a thousand dollars depending on how good it is and how uh, accurate the, the um, color is this is only to uh frame yourself while you're recording and also when i'm recording myself i use it to uh, determine how um, well focused it is uh so anyway dc70 it's a great thing it's a great monitor for anybody doing 1080p or less uh, as you can see, it has a connection for one of those universal Sony batteries that everything filming uses. Um, I actually have a DC power input, uh, and this one happens to have has quarter inch 20 holes on all four sides so that you can actually mount it from below or from the side or whatever you need to do. This, the IO, is why I use these monitors. It has nothing to do with color accuracy because I'm sure these are horrible for that. The reason that I buy these monitors over other ones is because of these ports right here. So you can go into one of these monitors, go out, daisy chain to another monitor or go to a recording rig or go to something else. This is why I use these monitors. But it's been a great monitor. If you look at any of my old old photos on Instagram, you'll see that in a lot of shots when I, when I take pictures of my uh, setup. So this one right here is the new one. 
It supports 4K video in, but it is not a 4K screen. But it's a 1920 by 1200, uh, 16 to 10 aspect, aspect ratio. This should be pretty good. Oh, by the way, the this frame part right here, this hood, this uh, uh, attached to them, you can actually pull it off on both monitors. You can see, it'll, it'll come off on both of them. Um, it's great when you're storing them to have it because you can fold it up and protect the screen, but it's removable on both. This one does not have the quarter inch 20 holes on all sides, it just has it on the bottom. Of course, still have the HDMI out. I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have that. Um, you can use those same type of batteries here. Uh, you'll notice that it doesn't have the power connection on the back. On this one, it's on the side over here. The USB port I've never used on the other one. I believe it's for updating the firmware on both. Uh, this right here is to go through the menus. Um, there are a lot more settings than you would expect to be on something that was as cheap as these monitors. This one had a pretty extensive uh, menu selection in there. Uh, this one is called the DC90HD. And at 4K doesn't mean it has a 4K screen, it means it's, it's 4K compatible. The little power supply right there, it's, a, it's just a universal 12 volt power supply you can get on Amazon. Um, if you need be, I'll, I'll leave links to that. So we're gonna go HDMI in, GX4, I believe is already on. And there we go. You can see me, you can see the camera. You can see me holding the phone, recording the screen, just showing the camera, showing me holding the phone. Notice uh, the, there's black bars at the top and bottom. That's because of the 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Uh, I'm recording in Ultra HD, which is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Um, the screen is 8.9 inches, so I don't know why they didn't just run it up to 9. But. So you might want to take a look at it. Um, not for color accuracy, but if you need, if you ever need to frame your shot, which is nine times out of ten more important, as long as you set your white balance and you've got your reference colors and everything ready to go. Uh, framing the shot is usually more important anyway. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave those below. I'll try to answer them. Um, I'll leave links below if you wanna check these out on Amazon. Thumbs up this video and like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Technoscope is a Twisted Curve production.